So I'll need lots of hands for this story, so feel free to come up. So in the call to worship, there was the mention of cleaning, and we're going to hear a story about Jesus cleaning the temple, but not quite the cleaning that we think of and do at our house. So there was no sweeping or vacuuming or dusting or window cleaning. It was a different type of cleaning. So first, I have some props to hand out for this. Okay, so what do we have here? Does it look like a cow? Who, who can hang on to the cow for me? And then later you'll make a, um, a cow sound. I have more cows. So you're not alone. Here, here's a cow. <laughs> you would like a cow too? You would like a cow? All right. And one more cow, one more cow. Okay, a cow. I also have, can you recognize that? Sheep, a sheep, so. Oh, that one looked like it broke a little. <laughs> and then I have a bird. Now, it's supposed to be a pigeon, but my farm set doesn't have a pigeon, so it's actually a rooster. But we're going to pretend it is a pigeon, okay? Who doesn't have an animal yet? Hohen. We'll give one to Hohen. Okay, and we need more, more pigeons to make sounds, so choir you're going to make the sound of a pigeon too, okay? So Hohen isn't by himself, all right? I have one other thing in here. What does it sound like? Shaker, yes. I have money from all different types of places. That's not a penny. No, it's from somewhere else. It's not a penny. <laughs> Did you want to see the money? You can't spend it here. It won't work. <laughs> Jesus came to Jerusalem and he went to the temple. So Jesus was Jewish, so he went to temple. That's what they called his church, temple. But he, he found some strange things there that you probably wouldn't expect to find in church. There were some cows. Can we practice our moo? Moo, yes. And sheep. Can we practice our ba? And pigeons being sold. Goo, goo. And there were money lenders. Now, the money lenders weren't known to be particularly honest. They kind of made people pay a lot to borrow money. So Jesus saw this. And he heard it, so I think we should make all the sounds so we know what Jesus heard when he went into the temple where he wanted to pray, okay? So everybody's going to make the sound of the animal that they have. Congregation, you're going to be money lenders with me, okay? So you yell out things money lenders might sell. And people came from all over to Jerusalem, so they spoke speak different languages too. So if you want to do it in a different language, you go ahead, all right? When I put my hand up to say stop, then we'll stop the sound. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Money, best, best rate in Jerusalem. Change your money. Borrow your money. Borrow your money. Good job. Pretty noisy. Would you be able to pray and think about God and all that noise? Well, Jesus was pretty mad. He's like, who changed? my temple, my, my God's house, into a marketplace. It's supposed to be a place of prayer. So he was so angry, he chased away the cattle and the uh, sheep. So we're going to disappear them back into the bag here. Chasing them all out. I'm sure they were much happier outside than in the temple anyways. Great job. And the money lenders, he turned their tables over, just like we see up here. I think, I think the rest of the congregation is going to hear more about this story later on. 
So throughout Jesus' life, he, he tried to make people think a bit different about God and what they did to worship God. So he wanted people to, he didn't want to see people selling things and forgetting about God. God was supposed to be in the center. During this time where we're going to Easter, it's Lent. And through Lent, sometimes people do things to help them keep God in the center. So praying, or maybe they give up some food that's really rich, like chocolate, um, <clears throat> up until the time when we celebrate Easter. So we're going to go to Sunday school, and we're going to make a labyrinth, which is one way some people do to think about God and to keep God in the center, thinking about him. So before we go, could we just say a very short prayer? Dear God, help us to keep you in the center. Amen.